Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling an agent it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the Internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get a hot card now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. There's a read on. Hard to do that in a chat room talking. to some guy named Antiquity Master. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time. Would you look at that? A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? So, Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Well, <laughs> of course. The deal went bad and I got arrested. Yeah, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh, we hit it off. It's a no. I made it a point to come visit him. Hell, oh, maybe we can preempt any trouble we might get into. Can you still reach out to him? Her. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> no, it wasn't like that for once. We just saw the world in a similar way. Besides, she moved. Oh, oh shit! Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Do pirates far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Hey, Nathan, check out that cave there. 
Stay put. Happy hunting. <laughs> Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercy. Be right back, fellas. We're stopping here? <laughs> yeah, back in a sec. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. But they found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? <clears throat> Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push... Uh, hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It might come in handy. What have we here? <laughs> hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Okay, give me a second. Okay, what do we have here?
Check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. Did you see that little beacon thing on the top of the hill back there? I did. We should check it out. My fault. Oh. Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Come with airbags, parachutes. See what's in there. Check it out, boys. What is it? Cool. Holy shit. 
Shit, you can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. I mean, especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline, Mercs? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Hey, what do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such <sighs> as pirate treasure? Maybe. <clears throat> another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. And Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Thank you. 